We reported at the top of this newscast tonight, crime scene investigators visited the home of Kaylee Anthony's grandparents again today, apparently looking for evidence in the little girl's disappearance. And just one day before investigators showed up, Greta Van Susteren sat down and walked around with Kaylee's grandparents to see what they could tell her about that missing two-year-old. One of their stops, the backyard that investigators dug up in search for evidence. Kaylee's grandmother, Cindy, explained what happened when they brought in the cadaver dogs. But I was told that the dog was inconsistent on a hit here and here being right here at the house. And, yes, and inconsistent where her sandbox was. So that's why they explained to us why they brought the second cadaver dog in. Second cadaver dog did not alert in the same spots that they did. Did not. Did not. Did not. All right. Did and there was nothing that they found that um, had any, you know, that they came up with any evidence. Maybe not, but the trail certainly doesn't end there. Greta Van Susteren with us live now from her studio. Greta, you sat down with the grandparents. How'd they seem? Well, the, the grandparents love their daughter and they love their granddaughter. I mean, they're extremely distressed by what has happened. Um, they, they are 100% behind their daughter, although, of course, there is so much suspicion on the daughter. And obviously, the police have focused on the daughter because they, the police told me that, that she has lied to them about a number of things. And, of course, now today they're back with the search warrant at the house. But here's the horrible thing about the investigation. It's, of course, it's worse that the child is missing by far. But why in the world didn't they conduct the search earlier? Earlier because I've been through that house a number of other people have been through that house they've known about this child being missing since July 15th and you know there's always risk that someone has stepped on something or something as someone has taken something so I'm quite surprised to see that they execute a search today when they had noticed that this child had vanished on July 15th that could be just trying to put some pressure on the mom I'm guessing Greta but I'm also curious She's in jail how uh, could I'm, she have pressure she's uh, in jail I'm not aware I'm also curious about the grandparents keep saying things like, we know she's close, and, and seeming to, saying they know things that they can't talk about. Is there anything behind that that you know of? Uh, I think these are parents who love their daughter and maybe can't face sort of the cold realities of what needs to be asked and answered in this case. When when Casey told her father, who's a, who's a very nice man, which told him that uh, Kaylee, the child, was close and the grandfather was unable to get more information, I mean, that was a that was a door opening. And of course, the follow-up question is, is, what in the world do you mean by Kaylee is close? Um, now, the grandfather said that he tried to get the answer, but any, you know, we, he's not the investigator. He, he's the father with the grandchild he loves missing, and no doubt he loves his daughter who's sitting in jail. So, and while, you know, maybe others are highly critical of the parents, um, they, they certainly could be more helpful in providing information, but understand that they are struggling themselves uh, with this. Now, are they hiding anything? Uh, we've learned today that when I was there yesterday, they, they didn't tell me that um, on the day of June 6th, when they when they left the home there was no ladder on their pool their pool is elevated on the ground and they didn't tell me that the gates the door was locked they have since today apparently there's new information today that when they went when they returned on June 16th suddenly they found a gate unlocked and they found a ladder on the pool significant I don't know but you know I would have liked to have learned that yesterday and it's sort of bits and pieces that are coming out of the parents but um, I don't think the parents I, I think the parents might not be 100% forthcoming with me, but I'm not the investigator. I'm not the police. And, and be mindful of the fact that they, they have a terrible personal problem on themselves. They've got a heartbreak. Yeah, there's no doubt of that. Greta Van Suster, and you can guarantee there'll be a lot more on the record tonight as Greta plays the rest of her interview with the grandparents of the missing two, almost three-year-old Kaylee Anthony. That's tonight, 10 Eastern, and again at 10 Pacific, because when you got to know the news you got to go to Greta. There's a new